Hi, welcome to our channel Good New. In October 2020, Samsung Prince Lee Jae-yong traveled to the Netherlands with a single goal in mind, to meet with ASML officials and press them to deliver the nine EUV lithography machines requested by Samsung as soon as possible so that Samsung can catch up to TSMC. Lee Jae-yong was accused with bribery and sentenced to prison three months later. The EUV that Lee Jae-yong had been dreaming about before he was imprisoned is a critical device in semiconductor fabrication. In general, EUV lithography machines account for 25% of total semiconductor manufacturing line equipment expenditure and can carve the most modern devices using light. TSMC's production process is unrivaled in the world, and it is inextricably linked to the company's use of the most modern EUV lithography machines. However, it is the old ruler Intel that is the most aggressive and extreme in its pursuit of TSMC. Intel purchased the first ASML NA 0.55 lithography equipment in January of this year. The bigger story is that Intel will release the license to the x86 architecture in order to steal TSMC customers who use the ARM architecture. Intel has taken many steps in the last year to get rid of TSMC and reclaim its supremacy in semiconductor production. So, after winning the most powerful lithography machine, will Intel, which is set to go, defeat TSMC this time? In this video, we will examine whether Intel can win this struggle following the demise of Intel, as well as Intel's unique advantages and hidden concerns. Let us have a look. To address the issue of whether Intel can win this struggle, we must first understand how the company plummeted from its height. In a word, the IDM paradigm that Intel has pushed on for many years is at the core of all of Intel's collapse. The IDM refers to the three key links of semiconductor production, design, manufacturing, packaging, and testing, and Intel manages the complete industry chain. This model has the benefit of having a large production capacity and the ability to implement its own plan in a comprehensive manner. The company's drawback is that it has a long manufacturing line and hefty investment expenditures. The mode's disadvantage is exemplified by Intel's internal TikTok technique. The TikTok rhythm continues until the 14 nanometer stage. However, Intel began to focus on improving the density of chip crystals rather than the process at this time, resulting in bizarre phenomena such as 14 nm plus, 14 nm plus plus, and 14 nm plus plus plus, although 10 nanometers mass production was still a long way off. A excellent TikTok talk rhythm was unexpectedly changed to TikTok talk. As a consequence of the significant traffic congestion of 14 nanometers manufacturing capacity, Intel no longer has any spare time to develop 10 nanometers and 7 nanometers process technology, and Intel's process technology advancement has subsequently fallen behind. Simultaneously, TSMC pioneered the foundry model and began to outperform Intel. Intel did not stand still in the face of a regressive environment. In 2020, Intel's then CEO Swan overhauled the technology department to decentralize it while also advocating for the elimination of the IDM paradigm and handing over the semiconductor production process to TSMC Foundry, but he was fired before these steps could be enacted. A year later, Intel's new CEO Pat Gelsinger took office, and with the goal of capturing customers from TSMC, he expanded production capacity and opened architecture. So, what is the level of confidence that Intel has in their counterattack? Indeed, Intel, a seasoned titan in the semiconductor sector for almost 50 years, has both technological and resource advantages. In terms of process technology, most people believe that the fewer nanometers in the process, the more sophisticated the process. In truth, the key metric that truly gauges the chip manufacturing process is logic crystal density, the higher the density, the more sophisticated the product. Even if Intel cannot mass manufacture 10 nanometers until 2019, and TSMC has joined the 7 nanometers process at the same time, the logic crystal density of the two is Intel 100.8, TSMC 100. Intel's 10 nanometers technological level will be found to be equivalent to TSMC's 7 nanometers. In other words, TMG's actions were not wholly ineffective. Intel's technological level remains the highest in the industry, and it is certainly conceivable for Intel to catch up to TSMC. In terms of resources, the x86 described at the start of the movie is another trump card from Intel. This is the first time Intel has licensed x86 soft and hard cores to customers that wish to create processors, according to the company. Customers who wish to receive permission must now obtain foundry from Intel's wafer department after developing the chip. As a result, it is certain to have an influence on TSMC's Samsung orders based on the ARM architecture. When compared to internal considerations, Intel's US account is more advantageous for counterattack. 
This provides Intel with two benefits, core customers and key equipment. In terms of core consumers, policy assistance from the US government will bring it additional local customers. For example, after returning to the foundry sector in March of last year, Intel received orders in July from two key clients, Qualcomm and Amazon, forging a traditional American partnership. A month later, the government directly turned over the Department of Defense's Rapid Assurance Microelectronics Prototype Business Program, RAMP-C, first phase wafer foundry orders to a U.S. corporation led by Intel. In terms of critical equipment, no wafer foundry in the world can avoid the United States on crucial equipment for semiconductor manufacturing, ASML, the only provider of EUV lithography machines, is subject to U.S. jurisdiction. It is not unexpected, then, that Intel may obtain priority supply of the most powerful EUV lithography equipment. In contrast, whether it's TSMC or Samsung, the relationship with the U.S. is strained. Despite the fact that TSMC is a U.S.-supported ally, it has only built a 180 nanometers wafer foundry in Washington state since its inception in 1987. After persistent compulsion and incentive, President Trump chose to build a 5 nanometers fab in Arizona in 2020. Let us not forget Samsung. If we consider Intel to be the genuine American son and TSMC to be the adoptive son, then Samsung is a direct rival. Last year, in the name of increasing transparency in the chip supply chain, the US even forced semiconductor companies such as TSMC and Samsung to provide up vital proprietary information such as client names, sales, procurement, and inventories. In addition, I believe the US may send these materials to Intel. Despite these advantages, Intel's retaliation is not as simple as it appears. In reality, many issues remain unsolved. When Pat Gelsinger, Intel's new CEO, assumed office, he did something that did not learn the lessons of history, he reinstated the IDM paradigm that his predecessor had sought to forsake. As a result, Intel confronts two underlying concerns, on the one hand, the problem of delayed IDM iteration persists, and on the other side, this paradigm makes Intel enemy everywhere in the global environment. The IDM approach is certain to be far more expensive than TSMC's specialization in manufacturing, all of which must be paid by Intel. On the other side, IDM is not just a foundry, but also a product competitiveness model, making Intel an opponent throughout the industry. If you look at Intel's multi-business competition line, you'll discover a horror narrative about Intel having too many big-shot opponents in the semiconductor industry. AMD and Intel have been competing for 20 years in the PC market, in the AI chip, while Intel is the integrated display and NVIDIA is the independent display, they are also competitors. In the field of autonomous driving, Intel accepts Mobileye directly, and in Wafer Foundry, TSMC is the strongest. In sum, TSMC has no adversaries, all semiconductor firms are its clients. On the contrary, practically all semiconductor businesses compete with Intel. As a result, I fear Intel will struggle to regain its position at the top under these conditions. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.